Hello and welcome to Jigsaw Chill Zone's first ever puzzle review. I'm currently on a conference call with our other reviewer, yes, other reviewer, who's over there. And I guess you want to know who that is. Well, let's go find out. Roll credits. As I said, this is exciting. Under that black square is our other puzzle reviewer. And we're going to show you who it is. So a few little clues. She, yes, she lives in England. She is also a puzzle completions gang, prolific, Puzzler, and if you know your puzzle completions gang, that narrows it down rather a lot. She is also a Jigsaw Chill Zone moderator, and if you're still not sure, she is Nat Thompson. Hello, Nat. Hello there, Mark, and um, thank you. It's great to be on board. I'm very happy to be here this morning. It's wonderful to have you. Somebody who knows something about puzzles. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and I notice, apart from Jigsaw Chill Zone t-shirt number one, we have t-shirt number two. Yay! Very good. So um, today's review um, is going to be about Art and Fables uh, Microcosmic Garden. Now we're going to be reviewing all sorts of uh, brands and different puzzles, um, but this review is my uh, look at Microcosmic Garden, but after completing it, I actually posted it off to Nat with a t-shirt um, for Nat to do, and I can see that you have it right there next to you, Nat. I do indeed. So what, what did you think about it? I just thought it was amazing. I knew it was going to be brilliant from the box. It's just wow. The quality of it, the pieces are just so tactile, you can't help but want to stroke them. It's the zero glare, which just makes the creatures pop and they, they just come to life as if they're here with you. As you can see, I didn't want to break it up. Yeah, th that image is really clear. It's quality and it's really good. Yeah, it's amazing. At the end of my review, I'm going to do a time lapse or I did do a time lapse because this is obviously after the event. And I did some close-in shots uh, in and amongst doing the time lapse just to show the clarity of the image. It's it's uh, it's lovely. So um, sometimes, as we say, sometimes on these uh, reviews, we'll be able to give prizes and giveaways, and this one is no exception. Art and Fable have been um, extremely generous, and they've um, put up three puzzles uh, for prizes. Now, because Art and Fable have branches in the UK and the USA, uh, they've said that winners, because uh, they're going to directly post them out, winners must live in either Europe or the USA. So those three puzzles, Nat, um, what are they, please? So the three puzzles are Window Nook, which is a thousand pieces, Microcosmic Garden, which is 500 pieces, and Tale of Two, which again is 500 pieces. Yeah, and we'll leave the entry open for I think probably two weeks for people uh, to make their YouTube comments. So um, how you can get your hands on one of those puzzles is through a draw. And we're not gonna let that other funny bloke do it. No, oh. we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. Um, but what they have to do is answer this question, Nat, and I've got it uh, written right here. So make your YouTube comments, and the question is, which organisation related to iCare benefits from sales of Micro Cosmic Garden? So I'll just say that again. Um, which organisation related to iCare benefits from sales of Micro Cosmic Garden? 
and the answer is actually given during my review so as you're watching that i will i will be giving you the answer make your youtube comments uh within two weeks of this video coming out and then as long as you live in europe or the usa you'll be in probably the big red bucket to see if you can get one of those puzzles and the three puzzles um the draw will be done so the first prize with it being a thousand piece puzzle will be wind and nook the second prize is that one that Nat has right there with her, Microcosmic Garden, that's the 500 piece. And the third prize will be Tale of Two, which again is 500 pieces. So very generously, Simon from Art and Fable has also, not only the three prizes, but also offered a 15% discount on all Art and Fable puzzles. Their website address can be found in the description. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll put it in the description. Um, so to get that 15% discount, you um, need to be a member of the Jigsaw Chill Zone Facebook group and subscribe to this channel. Now, if you're not a member, come along and join us and join in the fun of all the different things that we're doing. So we have lots of different things. We try and be really interactive one of the things that we're on with is the Puzzles World Tour, where I've sent out five puzzles into the world. We do draws um, and see if you've entered the draw, the puzzles go to wherever they're drawn out to and people can say, well, I want puzzle number three or I want puzzle number four or all of them. And they go, they're going all around the world. And there's one currently on its way from Michigan over to Athens, Greece at this very moment if it ever gets there. Um, we also do other things like the Puzzle Completions Gang, where if you look at the fourth one, um, Natalie was actually um, on the fourth one. Uh, we do other things like relaxing music and another strange fellow that keeps turning up. If you get in there and, and have a watch, uh, you'll see what I'm on about. But yes, yeah, so come along um, and join us. So I think um, that's probably enough of me waffling on today. So why don't we go and have a look at uh, my review and see me waffling on another day. Brilliant. Um, so here's uh, my review of Art and Fables, Microcosmic Garden. And as I said before, it's wonderful to have you on board, Natalie. Brilliant to be here. Thanks, Mark. Can't wait to watch the review. Okay. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye for now. Okay, so something new and I thought let's sit somewhere else in the house. So welcome to our conservatory. You may get uh, a view of our rabbit running around outside. Hopefully you can hear the birds singing on a lovely spring morning. And here we have our first puzzle review, as I said on the Zoom call. So this first puzzle is Microscopic Garden by Art and Fable. And as you can see on there, this particular one is 500 pieces. Now my first impressions of this is it's a lovely box. The quality of the image on the uh, front is excellent. There's a sticker here that says jigsaw puzzles featuring a luxurious velvet touch surface. Puzzles never felt so good. The box is pretty small. On the reverse of the box there's lots of lovely information um, about the, the artist and art and fable themselves and here it says each box contains a collectible frameable print to enjoy while puzzling and long after, a resealable bag to preserve your puzzle and prevent lost pieces, very good. A handy box top stand designed to steady a tippy box top. Don't say that if you've had a, a couple of drinks, a tippy box top. So without further ado, let's open it up. Okay, let's get my trusty knife to carefully break the cellophane. I 
knife away. Clumsy mark. And in we go. The size of the puzzle is 48 centimeters by 34 centimeters. And those still in the dark ages, 18.9 inches by 13.4 inches for ages 12 and upwards. So I'm comfortably in there. All right, then let's see what's in here. Okay, lovely. So there's the pieces in a sealed bag. As it said on the box, there's a resealable bag to put them in later on. What's this? This is our lovely box holder, Art and Fable. Now that's nice thick card. Lovely, lovely ink, nice quality. That feels nice. This is so far feeling pretty luxurious. And that is nice. That is thick card with a beautiful reproduction of the image on the front and on the back. It says something about the Microcosmic Garden by Robert Stephen Connett. And it tells you a little bit about um, Robert Stephen Connett, that is a self-taught artist and is currently based in Los Angeles, California. And there's plenty of lovely information there. Donations from the sale of this puzzle will go to SEVA, SEVA. SEVA is a global non-profit I care organization that works with local communities around the world to develop self-sustaining programs that preserve and restore sites. That is excellent. And this is puzzle number 08.20B. All in all, lovely. This is feels lovely. Why don't we crack open the bag and let's have a closer look at those pieces. Okay, so let's crack into these pieces. So just a little bit more about the poster. Like I say, it's on beautiful card, a very good reproduction of the image. And I hope you can see that there, it's excellent. I've now put the box into the holder. It's just one of those where you slip the box under the flap, lovely thick card, that's going nowhere that's lovely and solid and the box actually is a sturdy box very good quality so here we go into the bag split it off with my knife again clumsy mark can move that out of the way and let's have a so the pieces i can see immediately a compressed card Let's have a look. Are there any pieces still adjoining? I don't see any. And my initial look at this is they are cut really sharply. Excellent quality. Delve underneath. Is there any puzzle dust? Not a jot of puzzle dust. This is all very excellent. So let's have a close up with my tweezers on a piece. Yeah, this is excellent. And as you twist that, you can see just how sharp the pieces are cut. This is excellent quality, excellent. The image on the pieces looks very sharp and actually on initial looking an excellent replica of what's shown on the box the pieces are a grid cut reasonably thick and like i say they're excellent quality and as it said on the box the feel of the image on the piece does feel soft i don't know how they've done that or achieved that but it feels very nice Okay, so I'm gonna have a crack at putting this guy together, do a bit of sorting. I think I'm gonna enjoy this, and next you'll see some of the finished results. A few close-ups. I think I might even do a time-lapse. Mm, with some nice relaxing music. I'm not sure which one I'll use, 
Well, here we go. Okay, so here we are at the end, and putting this one together has been wonderful. Everything about this image is so clear and crisp. The piece has snapped, it's just so well cut. Everything about it is just what you'd want from a puzzle. It's been great. It's taken me quite steady, but a little over hours I would say and here's the last piece so as an overall review art and fable a quality quality brand and I'm going to leave you now with a few closing shots of this wonderful crisp image bye for now